Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first Coco programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to be giving you a grand overview of what you can expect out of this tutorial series, as well as the necessary developer tools that you're going to need to participate in the series. So Coco programming, um, a brief overview of what that actually means. It basically is Mac OS programming or Mac OS development. So anytime you run an application on your Mac, uh, that's essentially kind of what we're going to be learning. We're going to be learning how to create applications for your Mac. So no longer uh, are these going to be in uh, the consoles that we've been working with, such as the C tutorials and the Objective C tutorials, but now we're actually going to be creating user interfaces. So uh, if you even want to look at your web browser right now, or um, any, any application that you have open, you'll probably realize that that application has a menu bar, it also has a toolbar perhaps, it also probably has some kind of information in uh, the view right in front of you, probably some buttons perhaps, uh, text fields, and a bunch of different uh, things that you would see inside an application. So that's what Coco programming is all about. It's about creating apps for your Mac. And uh, this is pretty fun. And the reason I'm really doing these tutorials is because there actually isn't a lot of information on how to do this or how to go about creating Mac applications. There's so much stuff for iOS um, that, I, I mean, if you can't find what you're looking for, you're, I don't know, but there's so much information on iOS already that um, I might do iOS tutorials as well, but Mac OS really doesn't get that much attention, and I uh, really like the platform in general, and I would love to do a series on it. So that's why I'm here today, and that's why I'm going to be doing a Cocoa programming series. So um, it should be fun, and you'll learn all about how to link your code into user interfaces to create uh, interesting applications. So we'll learn uh, a ton of stuff. It'll be a learning experience for all of us, and... Um, you know, teaching these sort of things is always a lot harder than doing them, but um, I learn as I go along, and you'll learn a lot as well. So, anyway, um, the necessary steps that you're going to need to get started here. So the first thing you're going to need is, for these tutorials, we're going to be using Xcode 4, which is the brand new um, develop or um, integrated development environment, or uh, development environment, whatever you want to call it. It's the brand new um, thing that we're basically going to be using to... Uh, build all of our applications. So um, if you don't uh, have I Xcode 4, you can get it either by uh, being a Mac or iOS developer, um, paying the $100 a year. If you are, you can probably hop right into your members, uh, member center or dev center, whatever you'd like to call it. You can go in there and uh, you'll find the link to actually access um, your um, you'll, you'll find the link to access all the different things that you can download, and one of those will be Xcode 4. Um, if you do that, you'll get a disk image down in your dock uh, whenever that's downloaded, and then it's pretty self-explanatory from there. If you are not a uh, Mac or iOS developer, you can go to um, the Mac App Store, and uh, you can follow this link or whatever. But actually, uh, you can just go into the Mac App Store, and it's actually probably one of the, well, right now, it's one of the top apps that probably won't be for long. But if you, you can also search for Xcode if you want. But anyway, Xcode is one of the options in uh, the Mac App Store. It is $5, which uh, some people might seem like a lot of money, but I already had uh, kind of a vote with uh, my current subscribers, and they all wanted to do it in Xcode 4, and I don't blame them because it is kind of uh, the new development environment, and of course we'd like to learn in it. So, without further ado, we're going to be learning these tutorials in Xcode 4, and uh, you again, you can either get it free if you're a uh, Mac or iOS developer already and you pay the $100 a year, or you can get it for $5 if you're not uh, a member and you can just get it right from the Mac App Store. So once you've uh, downloaded Xcode, uh, I'm not exactly sure where it goes if you download it from the Mac App Store, um, it probably goes to your Applications folder, but if it's not, uh, you know where it goes if you're a developer, it will end up in your Macintosh hard drive under Developer, Applications, and then it is the option in uh, your Applications folder. And you can drag that down to the dock if uh, you so choose, and you're probably going to want to if you're doing a lot of these tutorials. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and launch Xcode 4. So 
I just want to also point out that if you are, um, I don't know, I guess if you're cheap and you really don't want to get Xcode 4, um, and maybe you have other reasons, I don't know, but um, if you really don't want to get Xcode 4 and you want to stick with Xcode 3, um, I'll try to sometimes explain uh, relations to the old way of doing it. It's actually not that different. Uh, they're ver they're, all the concepts are really the same, but the development environment itself will look different. So anyway, here's the Xcode 4 window that will uh, open up when we uh, open up Xcode. And uh, essentially, we're going to go ahead and create a new project. So we can go ahead, hit the button, and we'll get this new window of all this interesting stuff that we can use for our application. So essentially, what you're going to be wanting to use for all these applications that we'll be creating is we're going to be creating them with a uh, the Cocoa application template. So under Mac OS application, you'll see Cocoa application as the option, and you're going to want to use that for all these tutorials. So go ahead and hit Next. And here uh, in Xcode 4, anyway, it'll prompt you to put in the product name, and you can just uh, type in whatever. And for all these, mine, I'll just be referring to the lesson number that we're in, but you can call them whatever you want if you so choose to. And anyway, that's how that works. So uh, you don't really have to worry about the company identifier. It really doesn't matter because uh, we're not submitting this anywhere, so it's not going to really be that crucial, but you can change it to whatever you want. Um, and you can leave the rest of the information below uh, unchanged. We don't want uh, to create a document-based application. We'll get into that later. And we don't want to use core data, and we'll get into that later as well. So anyway, um, make sure those two are unchecked. I believe they are by default, but if they're not, make sure both of those are unchecked. And you don't have to uh, declare what your App Store category is going to be. That's only if you want to publish these things to the App Store. So anyway, uh, continuing on here, we can go ahead and hit the Next button. And now we'll have some place that we want to save it and just pick anywhere uh, that you'd like to save these tutorials. And I already have a folder uh, labeled out for this, so you can go ahead and hit Create. So once you've done that, it'll load up the uh, basically the program that we have. And as you can see, you're open uh, to this basically overview of what we have in Xcode. Xcode 4 will look a lot different than if you're using Xcode 3, but uh, don't fear that much. Um, there's not, you know, uh, all the stuff that you're seeing isn't too important if you're um, still using Xcode 3. Uh, most of the stuff that we'll do will be uh, fairly similar in both Xcode 4 and Xcode 3. So anyway, uh, this is kind of the general thing of Xcode, and I'm not going to get into all the stuff with Xcode 4. That'll be for another series altogether. But... Uh, Xcode essentially, if we want to go ahead and run the application that we have already, it will just basically create the default application that we have. So we can go ahead and up in the top left you'll see the run button and this is where we'll go to always run the application. So we can always go up to the run button, hit run, and as you can see it will compile all the stuff uh, in, as you can see the little window right there, and then you'll just get your actual application. So as you can see we have the lesson one window and you get a lot of stuff for default. You get, or uh, for free, I should say. You have uh, lesson one in the menu bar, you have lesson one in the title, and you already get a window for free. So as you can see, a lot of this stuff, um, without doing anything, the default program or the default application already creates a lot of the necessary things for us to actually start creating applications. So we don't have to worry too much about actually creating the windows and the menu bars. Most of that's already done for us. But we're going to be more concerned about adding uh, different user interface elements onto our uh, application. So anyway, this is just the general overview of uh, the first tutorial for this series. And also, if you want to quit your application, you can go ahead and just quit it, or Command-Q if you are used to that. So anyway, this tutorial, again, is just the overview of how we're going to be starting these tutorials. And uh, we're going to be just creating to, uh, creating new projects like I showed you in this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, uh, you can expect that we'll just be starting with an already open project. So I, I showed you how to create a new project in this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, you can expect that we'll already have a project open. And um, I'll also probably remind you that uh, you need to have a project. But anyway, this was just your overview of what we're going to be learning and also how to uh, just boot up Xcode and start your first project. 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stick with me for all of the other upcoming tutorials on Cocoa Programming. Alright, if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments and also please subscribe to the channel for all the updates of the upcoming tutorials. Alright, I'll see you next tutorial.